You are pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. Why my girl? You are, you are pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef V. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan to this Jamaican and extended Caribbean family. Make sure you subscribe down below. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys to do this braided ponytail along with a makeup look. I know if I didn't put this makeup look in this video, you guys would have asked down in the comment section below. So I'm glad I actually filmed this look so for my hair my hair is in dying need of a trim i have an appointment booked for the next maybe i think it's in two days thank god because my hair needs some help it needs some hydration all of that but for this look um i'm starting off with stretched hair i did blow my blow dry my hair a bit but not fully because i am with all that heat and especially since it needs to be trimmed and yeah, just that whole lot of whole lot of. Now to make this ponytail really sleek, I will be using the EBIN edge control and I prefer this edge control, edge control over edge booster. That is my verdict out of the two. I prefer this one because one it doesn't flake as much as the edge booster and with this style surprisingly like i'm i still have my hair in the ponytail right now and it's on day three and my hair hasn't flaked at all like that's shocking to me and what i realized is that with the edge control because i didn't put any other product in my hair and i did it dry like that it didn't have any problems at all also because I added some oil onto the edge control you guys I told you that tip like my last couple videos like just put a little bit of oil on top of your edge control to help with the residue and all that white icky stuff now my method for doing my ponytail especially for thick hair you guys know this already it's in sections you gotta do this in sections i know it's a lot just to get your hair in a ponytail but sis if you want it to look like really slick back you want that look it, it's a process okay it is truly a process also i am not using any gel at all just the edge control which is why probably it didn't flake because it didn't have to be mixed with any other product in my hair so now that I am satisfied with the amount, yeah, I, I used a lot with the amount of edge control that I use. I'm just going to take this two-sided brush. I love this brush so much. I got it at my beauty supply store. I think it's a men's brush. I don't know. But I like to use a hard part to brush my hair because it gets it so smooth. Like, it's freaking bomb. And also for the... um what what do you call this in i call this a scrunchie like hair clip whatever you want to call this hair band whatever um i really like these ones someone recommended that don't use the one with the metal on it because one it breaks easy and two it pulls on your hair so this didn't pull on my hair at all and for this look i was inspired by rihanna and that whole um fenty savage on amazon prime that whole um fashion show assist like my cousin Rihanna and that look was everything so I'm like you know I'm gonna do that short ponytail like she did it's a little bit of a messy braid instead of like a very neat braid so that's the look that I'm going for and um yeah so I won't be doing any like soup to the do type of edges basically just brushing my edges back I do a little bit of soup here and there but nothing like deep extra ish like usual like we're just doing it real simple we want it to look sleek but still effortless and a little bit unkept well that is for the pony part so i'm just adding a little bit of edge control here and there for the parts of my hair that still like still reverts a little bit my hair guys like it's expected with your coily hair you're still gonna have a little bit of coils here and there so i'm just brushing up my kitchen you know so i don't have any pepper green back there like you have to make sure sir, the back smooth out and look good and all these things so now i'll be using the diva curl high shine like i love this shine mist you can use any type of oil sheen that you want don't use too much because you don't want it to like revert your hair because at the end of the day it's still wet so um yeah, just use enough to keep that shine also to help prevent it from getting all whitey and 
flaky and all that annoying ish now it is time for makeup i already did my brows i have a brow tutorial if you guys want to see that um so first i'll be using the nyx glitter primer and this works as a eyeshadow primer for me especially when i'm doing really bright colors it helps a lot so i'm just gonna blend that in to prep my eyelids and then i'll be using this beauty um this eyeshadow palette that i got from amazon yes amazon says we gotta keep on a budget sometime um and it was it had the pink that i wanted to do like all my other palettes didn't have this particular pink that i wanted so this is what i'm doing i'll leave the link for everything that i use down in my description box for you guys so don't even worry about all of that so basically i'm going full pink full eyelid with this pink so take your time when you're doing this to blend it out if you're not that great at makeup as myself and you, you're just a makeup lover but not an actual makeup artist like just take your time and do your thing sis then i'm going in with a little a shade a little bit darker for like the corners just to give a more dramatic finish to the whole crease situation and also i'll be using the the glitter primer once more because this time i'm going to be adding a pinkish glitter on top of it like it's a dark pink now the glitter that i'm using is also from amazon so as i said i'll leave the link down below for you guys so you could purchase it as well so yeah this is it's more like a i don't even know sub colors um it looks more like a um i don't know like a purplish pink mixed with i don't know sis so like whatever but yeah that's the pink that i was going for so i'm just putting the glitter there with this nyx glitter primer um it doesn't work for bigger glitters like if you're going with bigger glitter flakes like no sis you just have to use this for the small stuff and then i'm using this um it's like a coil eyeshadow and it's in gold i think it's called steal your man is that what it says like this is real rude like what the hell <laughs> but anyways i really like this gold and i'm using it in the for my tear duct like the inner corners and then i go under the i go on the waterline just a little bit not the whole way just a tad bit so yeah that's the look that i'm going for just the corners gold and the rest of my lids pink Now for the bottom lids, I'm going to be using that dark shade that I use for the for the crease and outer eyelid. And I'm going to just use that for my lower lids just to give that dramatic pink effect. And then I'll be using a black liner. You can use any black liner that you have. I'm not very good at creating wings, but um, sis, sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta do. So instead of just going full on with the eyelashes right away especially since i'm doing a dramatic look i just felt like a dark wing will would only be right to complete the eye look now i'm going to be using a nyx mascara as well just to remove some of the powdery stuff off of my lids and this eyelash you can get it at amazon as well like amazon is a plug for a lot of basic beauty stuff so i'll leave the link for the eyelashes for you guys as well that is if they're not sold out now i'll be using the milk hydro primer and i told y'all in my previous makeup video i love 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 this primer like it is so bomb your makeup stays on all day and your skin just feels so good like it's bomb and i'll be using the nars all day luminous weightless foundation and this is medium dark five and yeah i'm not going to like show you guys full 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 my foundation routine because i did it in like two videos ago which was this week so i have the full routine product listing everything like super detailed for you guys i'll be using the Too faced concealer i love this concealer because it's super rich and thick and it blends beautifully i absolutely love it so i'm using that to highlight and to contour i'm using the anastasia beverly hills 
um, foundation stick in ebony and as I said all this part I'm just gonna fast forward through it because um yeah since we just did it the other day so you guys can definitely check out that full detail video after I blended all of that I'm going to be using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just using this um, brush that I used to um, blend my concealer I use the same brush to just add the powder I'm not doing a full big situation like it's basically just to set the concealer just to give me a nice finish and then after I've done that instead of going like full heavy-handed with it um, just to contour under my um what's this my cheek my jawbone this I don't even know all the terminologies but y'all know what's happening y'all see what's happening then I'll be using the Mac studio finish and this is NW 45 and this is just to dust away the excess powder as well to give a finished look as I said the whole list of these products and full tutorial dedication to my foundation routine everyday makeup is in my previous video and then to finish off the contour giving me a burnt bronzy type of look I'll be using the NYX finishing powder and this is in ebony Now to set everything, I'll be using the Morphe Setting Mist. This is also like super bomb. I love it. And for my lips, I'll be using this Fuller Instinct um, lip gloss. I think that's what it's called. Isn't that what it's called? I don't even know. But um, yeah, first I'm gonna line my lip with the lip liner um, toast, and then I'm going to be using the lip gloss like this is like a lip plump plumper or something because it's really tingler Ting what am i saying tingler <laughs> it's really tingly so i'm thinking it's like a some type of lip plumping thing to make your lips full i don't know like as if i need more lip right like sis then i'll be using the fenty beauty um trophy wife to highlight and basically i think my look is done like girl is your look done because i feel like i've been doing my makeup Forever. like makeup takes time you don't gotta use all these products but if you want this look this is how it's happening sis like yes sis you're looking freaking bomb now it's on to the okay enough sis jesus on to the ponytail i'll be using the shake and go lock and hold braid now it says it's pre-stretched hot water setting and tangle free i saw this in a beauty supply store it was the cheapest um hair there like this whole texture situation um it was like a dollar 99 or a dollar for i don't even know what it was but i was just so happy that it was pre-stretched because i'm super annoyed with having to stretch the hair and then it comes with the whole um elastic holding the ponytail so you don't have to do that whole the whole thing with the band and all of that like it's already there and the elastic is super strong so you don't even have to worry about it i doubled the elastic around my bun and since it held especially after when i do the whole braiding and all of that it like holds really well and i'm taking just a little piece out of the hair the bundle because that's what i'm going to use to wrap at the base of the braided ponytail now sis you see these nails and knowing that I'm not the best at braiding, I'm gonna take my time and braid this hair, this ponytail. Now you wanna make sure you leave a little bit of space at the base cause it's gonna go over your bun. Like I had to rethink that. No lie to you, I did this um, braid a couple of times cause like it was a struggle for me, especially when I got to the end to like really catch the ends all the way down like with the nails. It was a lot of work well not that much work but for me it was okay i'm taking my time it doesn't have to look super neat just just take your time do your thing sis like this is where i had a struggle like to get all the way to the end with these nails like it, it was struggle like you see where it's not so neat coming to the end and that's fine like i'm not even gonna beat myself up about it now what I, as i said to you guys this is like a shorter mid-length um braided ponytail if you want to go longer you could use expression braids because i think they go up to like 40 something inches long like 
I'm gonna go for that look the next time I do this style so now to cover my bun I'm just going to loosen up the base of the ponytail a little bit so that it could go over my bun then I'm gonna use some bobby pins to hold it in place make sure the ponytail doesn't move my bun is like fully disguised then I'm going to take the little piece that I had before like I removed like separated and this is where we're going to wrap it at the base of the ponytail Now to just neat up my ponytail a bit, I'm going to take the scissors. I'm not gonna hot water this, like I don't even feel like doing all of that. So I take the scissors and just clip it up a little bit. And I'm taking this foaming mousse just to help with the flyaways. If you wanna put it in hot water, do that. I don't feel like doing all of that. And yeah, this is basically it for the look. Just put bobby pins where you feel like you need bobby pins and that's it. Then Simba walked by and he saw me he's like, ooh girl you look good. And I'm like, okay. And yeah, you had to come over and give me a kiss. I don't want you know that. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the mousse on top of my hair and I'm gonna tie this down for a bit while I change outfit and that is like basically it for this look sis. Like, wasn't that easy? That was easy. Minus how long my makeup took like well in total like my makeup was per probably like 45 minutes and then to get my hair in the bun took the most time but to actually do the ponytail was the quickest part of this whole look thank you guys so much for watching as i said this is inspired by fenty savage fashion show of rihanna's whole look like yeah that's that's freaking bomb don't forget to subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that chef all the products that you will need will be down in the description box below don't forget to spam the comment section down below so that you could get your shout out shout what am i saying gosh damn get your shout out and be the next featured subscriber in my video and that is all that i have for you beautiful people for this video guan big up on herself bye guys